preseason. Jeremy Lin, really one of the great feel-good stories. If he could make it back from injury a year ago, he played his best game on Wednesday night. Well, he really did. And he said to me right before this game, we started the game today, that he felt a little better than he has in the past because now he's starting to get healthy because they hadn't played in over a year. And to see Jeremy smile when he's out there on the basketball court again was a good thing to see. You know, it really was. You know, he's Jeremy Lin checks in for Atlanta, replacing Trey Young. Lin heading into his ninth NBA season. Former star at Harvard. Free Wednesday over the Spurs. They shot 58% and made 14 triples. They're trying to play fast, too, just like the rest of the league. Lynn's going to head to the free throw line. Magruder's going to pick up his first foul. Tough call there. Rodney stayed down on his feet. I really thought he played so penalized there for a little body contact. Heat fans, you could stream these basketball games live using your own mobile device if you have the Fox Sports app. So download that app, take Fox Sports Sun and Heat basketball with you everywhere you go. Jeremy Lynn makes both free throws. Lynn. Look at his shorts in this particular situation. We noticed they were a little different. It looked like he had left his warm-up shorts on. I think he forgot to put on the game shorts. Different than the gray ones everybody else is wearing. And here's a great shot of him here on the offensive end. These are warm-up shorts he was probably warming up before the game with. And, you know, NBA regulations, you all got to have the same shorts. And oh, there's the quick change right there, Jeremy. Remember, he had that unbelievable run with the 2011-2012 Knicks. It was the height of Lynn Sanity. Yeah, that was amazing. Alex Lynn, Carter's man last season with the Sacramento Kings. Here comes Lynn, drives right by Magruder. Really strong ball fake. Excuse me, Ark. Really strong ball fake set up that drive for Lynn. But Bam out of bio. Came with a box out. Dragic lost it on his way up. Poitras with a turnover. And here comes Pembry for Atlanta. Lynn of the Hawks under Lloyd Pierce running the court well. Turnovers leading directly to run out opportunities for the Hawks. Show. Not now. Dragic missed both free throws. Eight still down by seven. Jeremy Lynn back in the throttle for Atlanta. Carter hoists a three and buries it. McGruder, eight point lead for Atlanta. Carter, ISO against Tyler Johnson for the cutting win. That's a smart play by Carter and Lynn, who saw Derek Jones drift to help, and they took full advantage. Yep. As will Eric Reed and John Carter, guys. Back over to you. Hey, right, thank you, Christian. Just a little more than four minutes left in this first half. Atlanta shooting 50%. They also have seven triples. Lynn with a soft touch. Boy, Jeremy Lynn doesn't look like a guy that missed almost all of last year. Ruptured his patella tendon in the season opener for the Brooklyn Nets. Didn't play the rest of the year. He's got 10 points in the first half for Atlanta. They have three double-figure scores. That's a travel on Dragic. Alex Lund with 12 points. Kent Bazemore and Jeremy Lynn each with 10. John, the Hawks have made 11 of their 16 shots in this quarter. Yeah, and here's Dragic making a strong drive and just... Kind of started stumbling and dragged that back foot. Great be down by nine. We're a minute in of the third quarter. Thanks for joining us. NBA preseason Friday. The regular season begins for the Heat next Wednesday. That's this coming Wednesday in Orlando. That will be a 7 p.m. start and a 6 p.m. Heat Live pregame. The very next night will be in Washington for the Heat and the Wizards. But, John, it opens up, and, and uh, it favors the Heat early. Some, I don't want to say easier competition, but some winnable games early in four. Three, Eric, by having, you know, that continuity already in place, it's been tough for Coach Spoke as they've had a bunch of injuries. To run, you know, you can't, you can't. It's going to let it slide because, you know, they're, they're going to they're gonna call that all year long. And now a technical foul in addition to a personal foul. And let's see what happened here. It's on the sideline. Uh, Richardson a little bit too aggressive, you know, after they call the foul, and that's not necessary. So the technical on Josh, the foul on Jeremy Lynn, and Jeremy is going to go to the other end to shoot. Thirteen points for Lynn. You watch here. 
you know, Lynn just playing a little aggressive, but you know, you can't you can't do that. You can't do that. The refs, you know, they're gonna give three that Jay Rich has. Jeremy Lynn, we mentioned seven different teams. He's been traded twice. He has also been cut twice by NBA teams. Young man's from the West Coast, but he played collegiately in Cambridge at Harvard. Magruder with a rebound. Great target inside for a guard to find. 13 points for Whiteside. 4 of 4 from the field, 5 of 5 from the line. Lynn's runner, perfect. Jeremy Lynn, who has five points in the quarter, and he's got eight points. Miami trails by only three. He'd have outscored the Hawks in this quarter, 15 to 5. There's another elbow thrown by Plumley. This one got Magruder. And now, Lynn and Magruder having words. That's the second dust up that Lynn has uh, gotten into. It's interesting because it's really not Lynn. It's actually Plumley. Let's make the replay here. Yes, it was Lynn. Oh, Ooh, swinging it back. Follow through. Yeah. To the Memphis, and then for the last five years, he worked with Brett Brown, the unsinkable Brett Brown, uh, with the Philadelphia 76ers. So he's had some very good mentors and role models. Uh, in under six minutes left in this game, Dorsey buries a three. Nice setup by Lynn. Herder short, loose ball to Dorsey. Inside, got the field goal and drew the foul. But Jeremy Lynn with 17 points, actually 19 points tonight on seven for nine shooter. Quick ball fake to get around Robinson and then nice strength by Lynn to get that one up and go off the glass. He just gives teams a good spots and I think the brightest was Jeremy Lynn. Well, Jeremy Lynn, uh, again, showing some poise, showing some quickness, and showing that he is slowly getting back into a groove and back into a rhythm. So we are very happy how he played tonight.